You can't prescribe wellness, you can only do it. Coming up on today's video. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm Justin Hebert, joined as always by Dr. Hugh Beatty, and we are talking wellness today. Dr. Beatty, a lot of people, I think sometimes, maybe they just want to come to you to mm -hmm. talk about their problems, oh, but yeah. my guess is you can tell the difference between those who want to talk about it and mm -hmm. those who want to take action, mm -hmm. and that is going to make a huge difference in how much not only do they listen to you, but the end result that they get as a part of your program. Yeah, because it eventually always boils down to the action. Mm -hmm. Because I can sit there and talk to a patient about, you know, find out what their symptoms are. I can evaluate them, do a physical. I can eventually make the diagnosis and tell them what the cause is. But then it comes down to treatment. Yeah. And even if I give them a wellness program, they have to do it. I tell people all the time, I can't eat for you. I can't drink water for you. I can't yep. sleep for you. And I can't lift weights for yep. you. You have to do that. I love wi lifting weights. And if I could lift for you, I would. <laughs> but you're going to have to do it yourself, right? right. And, and that's that takeaway. And Dr. Brady, how many mm -hmm. times do you see in that initial consultation, at least, people struggle with not wanting to take that full ownership mm -hmm. as they hear that advice? Oh, yeah. The excuses start. Yeah. You know, oh, I couldn't go because I had the babysit. Uh, I couldn't make it because my back was hurting. And that's the same person I've been trying to get in to make a follow-up appointment so we can resolve their back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want your back to stop hurting, you need to come see him. But if you don't come see him, he can't help you. Right. Right. And that's probably that vicious cycle. Mm -hmm. So, Dr. Beatty, someone mm -hmm. is watching this and decides that they want to take action. Right. But that can feel like a scary thing. I mean, we, mm -hmm. we, we joke about it and we laugh, but we, we don't want to make light of the situation. If someone has right. built in unhealthy habits for mm -hmm. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, mm -hmm. it can be a hard, scary thing oh, to yeah. make that change, to right. actually own it mm -hmm. and then change our behavior patterns and mm -hmm. our behavior habits. So mm -hmm. what have you seen that works to help people mm -hmm. take that first step? Well, what I love about wellness is a process anyway. Mm -hmm. So I tell patients all the time, I say, if you want to get well, then I'm your guy and I will be patient with you. Mm -hmm. Because if they're making progress, they get excited. Yeah. And one thing I haven't seen yet where people cannot get better, of course we all die, yep. but what I'm saying is that if they still have a pulse and they still are walking and talking, I've mm -hmm. seen patients get better. Yep. And, and the thing is though is that you have to look at the whole patient and you have to tell them, look, here's the areas that you have that are problematic. Yep. And each of one of these I've seen before. Yep. So to you, it might seem overwhelming, but mm. to me, I start breaking it down and say, I can do this, I can do that. And when I do that, sometimes certain things I do will restore multiple areas mm -hmm. of your body. Mm -hmm. But the process needs to get started. Once they feel better, it's amazing that they're a lot of times eager to finish the process. Yeah, absolutely. And there's been research done mm -hmm. that, that backs that up. They did a study on smokers years ago, and if they tried to make a whole bunch of changes, I'm gonna mm -hmm. eat healthy and exercise mm -hmm. and quit smoking, by and large, they ended up quitting. And so what they found actually works is mm -hmm. let's start by making one small change. Yes. And for breakfast, you're going to give up that cigarette and that cigarette only and have a healthy breakfast. And after yes. about two weeks, people said, you know what? I feel mm -hmm. better. Mm -hmm. Let me start to walk in the morning. And so mm -hmm. now they were eating healthy breakfast and walking. And right. then pretty soon they said, well, I'm feeling really good. Let me give up my lunchtime cigarette. And they actually found that, that while it may have taken longer initially to quit smoking, they stuck mm -hmm. with it in the long term right. much more successfully because they started with those small wins. Dr. Beatty, it mm -hmm. sounds like that's what you're advocating for. Oh, yeah. Find those small wins mm -hmm. and you can use that momentum to keep mm -hmm. going. Yeah, you don't want to overwhelm the patient. A lot of times I've had patients come to me and they've been suffering with things for years. Mm. And I said, you've given other doctors years to help you. <laughs> Give me at least six months, yes. okay? Yeah. Let me see what I can do for you in six months. And they're amazed. A lot of times it doesn't take anywhere near that long. Yeah, absolutely. And one of those key points that Dr. Mm. Beatty mentioned that I want to make sure we don't gloss over because I think it's, it's huge and vastly mm. important to your success and that is, you may feel scared, you may feel overwhelmed, mm -hmm. but he doesn't. Mm -hmm. And that's part of that trusted mm -hmm. advice that comes with, whether it's in, in coaching or in your health or whatever mm -hmm. it is, you might feel scared, you might feel overwhelmed, for you it might feel new, but mm -hmm. following up on our earlier video, having those experts in your life that can speak into you, it's not scary to them, and they're the ones who, if they're calm and they're reassured and oh, they're yeah. confident, you can actually share that mm -hmm. with your patients. Oh yeah, I did anesthesiology for a long time, 
And I always have to be the calmest person in the room. Yes. Because when all hell broke out, okay, I've seen surgeons panic. I've seen the nurses panic. And I knew that I said, the only one who has to be cool to help this patient is me. Yes. And I was amazed a lot of time at myself that I got even more calm when things were falling apart. Yeah. That saturation is falling. That heart is slowing down. And I just stayed with the patient. And I can tell you, he is the coolest guy you're ever going to meet. So if you need that calm voice of reassurance, you need the wisdom, the perspective that comes with that, you're looking to get well, you need hydration, you need ozone, you need those five pillars to restore your health, please call Dr. Beatty. You're going to find his contact information down in the video description below. He will help you because he has seen it all before. This is Dr. Beatty. I'm Justin Hebert. Thanks for joining us, and we will see you on a future video. If you're struggling with eating, think about eating a time-restricted window. Eat only when it's light outside. So when you get up in the morning to the time the sun sets is the time you should eat. There was a guy who talked about doing this on a video I watched once, and he said that he felt really comfortable doing it. He was able to keep his weight under control, and he never uh, ate after it became dark. So try doing that. Don't eat at dark.